How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome back to another episode of the Prussian Pandemonium campaign. We are locked in eternal combat. Oh god. Oh god. I was eating some... Oh god. Oh jeez, some sweet... Oh! Give me a sec. <coughs> okay, we're good. <clears throat> I was eating some sweet and salty nuts before this recording started, so I had one lodged in my throat. Um, Ottomans are at war with Tiver, apparently. Or they're helping Tiver? Or they're just hanging out. Okay, lovely. Um, they're coming to attack us in Prague. Which, like, good luck, buddy. You have, like, no chance. Actually, you probably do, but... Spain is so discontent. Discontent. Uh, I think it will be worth it this time to go and do this. Yeah, there they go. They retreated because they know they can't win. Who would have thought? And we will continue onwards. But yeah, mainly though, we're just kind of like sieging down Poland, which is fun. I like sieging down Poland, I would say. Let's go ahead and now move you back to the Western Front, I would say. The Central Front. We basically have like five, six hundred different fronts. <laughs> Five, six hundred, yes. We have a lot of fronts. Um, do we have everything we need to form Germany? I don't remember what it was that we needed still. Was it Frankfurt? Is that it? We have Cologne. I think it's only... It sounds like maybe... It's only Frankfurt. Okay, well then we just need to do that. We need to take Frankfurt. Um, the good thing is, Poland's war exhaustion is probably going to be ridiculously high... And there's only two people in our coalition, uh, three people, and Frankfurt is one of them. We could attack them. Brunswick, Friesland, Venice. I, I'm just gonna fight that. I don't, I don't care honestly. I, I think I could almost certainly beat that if I need to at least. They're gonna now they're gonna take. Oh, they're not gonna take a river, pre, uh, river, river penalty. Rival, yes, a rival penalty. Let's go in here though. Uh, sure, tax is good. Um, yeah, why are you being so dumb, Hungary? Why are you, like, just throwing small armies against larger stacks than you can handle? It just doesn't make any sense. The AI always does that, though, so I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, there is, so that's Savoy's army. We're gonna take, we're gonna need some reinforcements here soon. I think we're gonna bring this army down here, maybe. We actually got the crossing penalty. So we should just be able to absolutely destroy them. Let's look at these casualties. Yeah, we killed so many more than we lost. And that's how it normally is as Prussia. As long as you have enough base manpower, then you can just you can destroy anyone. Even people five times your size. As long as you have more than like a couple hundred thousand manpower. You could take on Russia and the Ottomans and still win if you're smart about how you play. And that's the key part too, I guess. Alright, we have 23% war score now. I don't know why. Probably all these massive sieges we're doing of the, you know, the Polish landscape, the Polish uh, lands. Also, from a cultural perspective, this is Polish, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I think we wanted to... I think we wanted to set this as a province of desire, but we couldn't. Yeah. But this is Lithuanian. Okay. Um, and there's Belarusian... Ruthenian, Ryazanian, Muscovite, Novgorodian, Crimean. Okay, uh, well, whatever. Uh, let's just see what happens. They'll probably, hopefully Hungary will give us Hlohov and Vratislav. But, uh, we'll see. Depends. If they like us, if we're feeling lucky or not. Nationalism against Canada. Canada formed. Really? Really? Canada formed? Who did they break free from? That's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen a natural natural Canada, but, like, cool. It's a Dutch uh, Canada, actually. Albert the First von Nordheim. They're a kingdom. Yeah, they're a kingdom. Wow, that's pretty uh, interesting, I would say. It's a little weird, but whatever. I, I like it. It's It's cool. Okay, let's come over here and try to help out here, maybe. Okay, apparently not. 
Okay, well then we'll just kind of spread our armies out in, you know, a frontline style. You know, we're playing Hearts of Iron 4 now. Really, you want to engage me? You played right into my trap card. I'm gonna stay here just in case they engage me in there. Mm, the 17th, and I will make it on the 18th. What if I do this? I'm not gonna do that. I'll just do this. I'll just come in right behind you, buddy. Austria, do you really think I'm gonna let you ruin this battle for me? They might actually win it. Nope, they didn't. Okay. Our General Ludwig Karl von Quernhemberg has gained the Ruthless trait. Land fire damage. That's pretty good. Especially if that's the guy that is... Yeah! Oh my god, that general is going to be so overpowered. He's already overpowered. He's even more overpowered now, though, you know? Okay. I mean, they just keep throwing men at us. They're not going to really be doing anything. We, we're we basically just idling on manpower. We haven't really lost much. We haven't really gained much. Well, we haven't, we've lost some. We haven't gained any, but we've... You know, it's not like we've been losing that much, really. So, it's kind of interesting. Um, and I think we one thing we might as well do is maybe make some of this Lithuanian land, uh, you know, Provinces of Desire. Is that the way? Provinces of Desire? Desire Provinces? You know what I mean. It sounds kind of weird. Why did I, it sounded so weird phrased that way. Provinces of Desire. You know, it just sounds weird when I say it like that. Yeah, you're... Oh, that's right. You're also Orin Nogai and Novgorod. Okay. Um... I think we do want to go siege down... Siege backs, rather, some of our stuff here. Oh, there it is. It's done. Okay, they gave us land. Let's see what... All right, first off, let's look at these casualties. So, the it was about the same, actually. About 660,000 know, um, on both sides. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so, like, Bohemia had 100,000 on their own. Poland had 200,000 on their own. You know, uh, Austria probably, uh, yeah, 125,000. Poland, 200,000. Look at us. Oh, we still had quite a few, too. Jeez. But I'll tell you what, I do think we probably caused most of these. Like, about, like, half of them, probably. Um, we lost most of our... Oh, you know what? Most of the troops we lost were, to do, were due to attrition. That's funny. Whereas Poland, most of theirs were due to combat. And I guarantee you, we had a large part in that. So, they will seed Zumutz and Kaunu. Zumutz and Kaunu. Zumutz and Kaunu. Okay. All right. These two, it looks like. Yeah. Shemitan and Kaunu. Okay. Um, there we go. That's pretty good. It's Lithuanian, and we're just going to convert that to either Prussian or Polish. It depends which I feel like. Uh, but now, it's, we need to move quickly here, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to immediately, pretty much at least, um, go to war with... Frankfurt. I think that's going to be the plan here. I think we're going to try to go to war with Frankfurt as soon as possible. If we go right now to war with Frankfurt right now... Oh my god, I completely forgot. We have a Regency Council for like four more years, don't we? Gosh darn. Why am I so dumb? I forgot about that. Potsdam now belongs to Austria. What? This one. They sold a freaking Slovakian province to Austria. That is weird, man. The, uh, the AI never does that. Or rarely, at least. I've seen them do it a couple times, and there's ways you can kind of force them to do it, but still, that is strange, man. That is a little bit strange. I wish we could go to war right now, but unfortunately, that is not to be. Um... We are making 1199. That's probably okay. Uh, free stability, I will take any day of the week. 
Austria paid all the foreign debt of Songhai. Really? What do you care about Songhai? Oh, God. Songhai is quite big. Actually, yeah, I can see them being fairly, uh... I can see it being fairly consequential that they are allied with you or, uh, like you. Alright, uh, France. We have to marry each other. Who else am I in a relationship with? <laughs> That's a weird way of putting it. Hungary, I need to marry you. Oh, we already are married. Um... I mean, are there other people that I want to, like, get allied to? Portugal could work. Because, like, Spain has rivaled us, right? Yeah, Spain has rivaled us, and we might as well rival them back. Um, Portugal... You know what? Why don't we ally Portugal? I see no reason not to, really. We might be able to inherit that. Probably not, but, you know, it could happen. It's, it's worth the effort, I would say. Especially since we have so many relationship slots open um is the main thing there i would say so yeah they're yeah they're never gonna become a vassal of ours uh out of their own free will that is okay how many states do we have we might as well like yeah let's, we, let's just make these states definitely we should make eastern norway a state there's some there's actually some decent land there do we think that we should start integrating sweden soon Mm, oh no, you know what? I, yeah, we waited too long. I'm dumb. Sweden lost their cores on Novgorod. Well, they didn't have a lot, and it was like five provinces maybe, and not a lot of development, so so maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. I don't know. We'll see. But we probably should, sometime in the near future, go ahead and uh, start getting Sweden to like us uh, by, revo well, you know, revoke their march status. Start getting them back up to the point where we'll be able to um, integrate them. That could be good, you know, to have all that land under our control directly. Um, so this, I want to look at culture again. Yeah, this is Lithuanian. There's Lithuanian here. There's no Polish overlap, unfortunately. But that's okay. Hungary has this little exclave this little chunk of land there it's very annoying oh and they took more wait no they already own that did they i don't actually know i it's all a blur <laughs> no stop losing me the stability should we make the subarctic islands a uh should we make that a a and a uh, state i don't really think it matters that much yeah separatism what about over here? They still, yeah, they all have separatism still. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, twentieth of November of next year. Okay. So let's just go. Let's just go ahead and say I don't like doing this in the videos because it lags the videos quite a bit actually. But let's just go speed five for a little bit. We're gonna say for a whole year we're gonna speed five it up. Um. We should also do that. Let's also like go ahead and build some buildings. Why not? Um, look for ones. I've seen 0.15. Yeah. 0 0.20 is pretty good. However, stuff like that's going to be better because you get half the cost and you get the same benefit. So. Um, like that one. That one's going to be real good. Konigsberg, no, that's not, that's Ermland, Vermland? I can't see if there's a V there, it's, it's covered up. Um, and we'll go ahead and say this one as well. There we go, there we go. Oh, Poland, how could you be such a dick? Also, we have a bunch more force limit, I forgot. Um, let's go ahead and get our force limit, or up to our force limit closer at least so let's do one there do one up here in like riga our uh backup capital or another center of our prussian culture you know because it starts prussian surrounded by all the latvian and estonian land so let's go ahead and yeah let's get all these armies grouped up i think i think that'll be good we don't have enough room for another stack but what we will do is i think we'll start upgrading these stacks to like 34 stacks 16 16 6 12 i think that's a pretty good 16, 6, 12. I think that's a pretty good uh, number for most of these. Okay. Um, I 
There you go. Maybe even... Yeah, that's probably good. All right, cool. So what, what is our force limit at? Yeah, 295 out of 314. So, like, we're going to build up this... Build up these armies a little more, even... And uh, yeah, just just get them get them beefed up a bit so that they're a little bit more self sufficient. We don't have to keep all of our armies near each other like we've been having to do occasionally. Hmm. Hired a statesman. Okay. Statesman is the one that gives you diplomatic reputation. Yeah, I will definitely hire you. Um, let's go ahead and make this one a bigger stack even. Okay. Uh, Provence, I don't care about you. Okay, and we're about to be in November and out of Regency Town territory. So let's go ahead and wait. Let's go, or, you know, slow it down a bit. We will be coronated King of Prussia, Frederick von Hohenzollern. Frederick the Fourth von Hohenzollern. 445, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Frederick the Fourth. Von Hohenzollern. Yep, that's pretty... He's pretty good. He's gonna... He'll be the great Frederick that will lead our people to form Germany or something like that. I don't know. Where's Posen? Posen, it's over here somewhere. Posen? No, it's not. Where's Posen? Po there it is, right there. Okay. go. He's also a scholar, which gives tech cost minus five. That's really good. Um, personal union on monarch death. Okay, well that's not good. Succession war between France and Spain. Luckily, when you declare wars, you cannot have that happen. Alright, so this is annoying. So, well, so, okay, well, Poland will bring in their allies in a war for Frankfurt, but I think we have to do it, and just consider this the Franco-Prussian War, even though France is actually going to be on our side. Um, consider this the last major war, where it's just going to be the war to end all the wars. But not actually, though. There will probably be a lot more wars after this. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to do it. And uh, we have armies in place that are going to deal with all the other little people that are going to join and stuff. And it's going to be uh, annoying, but we're going to do it. So either way... There we go. Thank you guys for watching. Cliffhanger episode, because I'm a dick. But anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll come back next episode and see how this war goes. So until then, uh, leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.